Thanks for making your own tarot book and leave us some comment tips. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that yeah, bell button so you don't miss any of the videos. Today we're going to do the tarot tip and where we're going to draw cards of Syria and then we will use it after that to draw our own pictures. The wounds to socials, one social will be provided by the by Mona Labs in the kit and the tapestry special is blank and you can do uh, whatever you want and I chose just to write thank you and um, I'm just doing a whole experiment for you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. The first we have a six. Before doing any scientific experiment, you need to make sure you are safe from the chemicals and chemicals are safe from you. So for today's video, you will need a flat apron or a lab coat and pair of gloves. And you can find both of these at pharmacies, at drug marts, or order them online. And if you have a long hair like me, please hide at the back. And to know more about safety and chemical sources, you can check out the link and uh, we are going to link in the description box or check out our upcoming video about safety. So let's see what we have in the in the tarot tip. So we have the petri dishes, we have the the paint to the canvases, we have the loops, uh, the day one package that we're going to use for today right now, and we have our set of water. Uh, also, we have an activation bag that I put in the yellow container for us to use for our petri dishes. So the first thing will be to uh, boil the fair water to prepare our petri dish. Put the fair water in the microwave for 45 50 seconds, and you will, you will know when it's ready to go when you have bubbles. Uh, bubble showing up. Be careful when handling it because it's super hot and as, as soon as you get the, the water, take out your acre. Close it in activation bag, loosely close it up and gently mix until it's fully dissolved. Keep mixing until it's very clear with a yellow tint. And if you need, if you still see some uh, some particles moving around, you can put it in a microwave for uh, not more than four seconds. And in that interval, you can keep uh, warming it up until it boils um, or until it fully dissolves. And now it's right now it's very hot because I can't put my uh, hands uh, on more than five seconds without burning my hand, which means it's not ready yet for antibiotic. So give it some, maybe 15-20 seconds for it to cool down, but um, and then you can add the antibiotics. Right now, one, two, three, four, five. I feel not, I feel okay. So we can remove the lid and add the antibiotic. You can label your uh, dishes uh, in different ways. Uh, right now, for us, we can just put our uh, initials and perhaps the uh, date. And we're writing that on the bottom. Once you're well mixed, uh, your antibiotic, you shouldn't see, you shouldn't see anything except a clear liquid. Now we are going to pour our uh, agar to the petri dishes. So for that, you, can, you should open uh, the petri dishes and put the, the other half near it. And you need to fill out this one. And you need to fill out to one half to uh, two thirds of the bottle. And you should make sure that the bottom half is fully covered and till the start it's going to be one half. Repeat the same for all the petri dishes. Now you can cover uh, the top and wait for 15 to 30 minutes until it fully solidified. For the next step we'll only need uh, one plate so you can choose whichever you want and we are going to uh, put we're going to store the rest in our bag. I put the petri dishes in the bag that was in the kit, and if you if you're at home, you can uh, put it in Tupperware, put it in the fridge, label it, and make sure you tell everyone the family that this is yours because we will use them in the future in our next steps. And let's 
I'm going to get started with our petri dish. So first let's get our bacteria paint. And we have three bacteria paints, which means we'll need to use three uh, yellow loops. We have them too. So first we are going to divide our the bottom of the petri dish into three. So with the rest of the bacteria, what you're going to do is you're going to open the lid and put it in your inactivation bag. So we're going to turn our dish, petri dish upside down like this and put it into our petal and close it with the heat chamber. So turn on your incubator and put it to 37 degrees. And wait until it says 37 and then we're going to put our pizza dish so now we're ready to go use your incubation kit to open the door so now we're going to wait 12 to 48 hours depending on the case and on average it should take you 24 36 hours but again depends on the case and the important thing is to see the colors So right now I have my uh, stencil that was in the bag. I have the one that I made. We have the uh, colorful bacteria. I remember yesterday we put two, three petri dishes into the fridge so you can take them out. Uh, just wait it for like five, 10 minutes so it gets to the room temperature just in case. And uh, now let's get started. So take your paint brushes. So it start with the Pink one, we can use it for a magenta color. So we can do first a thank you one. So put it on top and open the lid. And of course you just, as you can see, you can see them. So now there are several techniques like how we can do it and we can use the video called uh, tips for canvas kit painting and i will put the uh, link to the video below in the description uh so i'm just gonna do like striking and you can see like the the trace so that's how you know you actually you actually worked so you can go over and you can dip back uh if you need to just take it a bit and you can put in an activation bag if you don't need it anymore. Next, you can take a different one for your, let's say, uh, purple color. Take it a bit and and you can use the other side of the paintbrush to do your the other one if you need to just put it away for now so again we are going to flip them over put them in the chamber and put back into incubator so we're just going to use the same temperature for incubation which was 37 degrees and we can put it back and we're going to start a timer Hi everyone, so it's been more than 24 hours actually. So what ended up happening is I had to put the petri dishes for 12 hours at room temperature and then I put it into incubator 
for 20, more than 24 hours. So it's been more than a day and let's see the results. So we can see all the traces and if we open it up, thank you. This looks actually pretty great because I did the exclamation mark with a, a toothpick and I did the rest with, um, with the brushes and they all of them look great. Yeah, the A is a bit like, it doesn't really look like A, but it's probably on my end. Uh, well, I did probably like, took like, too much of the bacteria because it wasn't too precise. And let's take a look at the other one. So it was, looks pretty good. I mean, it was supposed to look a flower as in the canvas, but my with my painting skills, this is, I think, pretty decent, I would say. Also, I have this like violet flashlight, so the cyan is actually supposed to glow. I know it's pretty little light in my room, but can, can you see like the, the glow for the cyan? It doesn't work for others, but for the cyan, it does work. You can, I don't know really sure how it, if you can see on the camera well, but after this, you can uh, just put this in the inactivation bag with open, obviously, with open petri dishes. Um, but if you want to store them for a while, then you can put it on the Keep It Preservation Kits. Thank you so much for watching scientists feel free to share with us your pictures in the comments ask any questions and tell us what was the most enjoyable and the most challenging part of the experiment don't forget to uh, subscribe if you found this video helpful and you want to see more videos and don't hesitate to share with your friends and teachers looking forward to seeing you in the next video see you